When you find out why he'd done this, his reaction will make sense. Back in 2015, the FBI received multiple reports of a man assaulting young women at a Michigan university. The university did not follow up with the complaints, but the FBI were all over it. The attacker operated in plain sight, and the victims knew exactly who he was. The man was a medical trainer for the U.S. gymnastics team, and his name was Larry Nassar. The FBI searched Larry's home and uncovered 37,000 images of 265 of his victims. This was the father to one of the victims, and he had to listen to his daughter's testimony. Being angry was an understatement. So he asked the judge for some time alone with Larry. The judge refused his request, so he attacked Larry anyway. No action was taken on the father, and Larry was sentenced from 40 to 175 years in prison. Larry was welcomed to prison by being assaulted by his new roommates. Before we get into the full clip, remember to smash like and subscribe on your way out. No, we, we, we don't want to swear. We don't want to have profanity. I can't imagine the anger and the anxiety and the feeling of wanting retribution. And if you need to say something to help you, I'm more than willing to let you say something. But in a courtroom, we, we, try, we don't use profanity. But if you have some words that you would like to say, I would like to give you the opportunity to say them. I would ask you to, as part of the sentencing, to grant me five minutes in a locked room with this <laughs> demon. I have would a you do that? I, I, that is not yes how our... Yes or no? No, sir, I can't Would you give me that. one minute? <laughs> I, you know that I can't do that. That's not how our legal well, system I'm works. Well, I'm happy. One minute. Relax, sir. Relax. Take it easy, buddy. Just relax. Okay, now we're going to count that up, okay? You have to let up too, okay? frustration, but you cannot do this. This is not helping your children. This is not helping your community. This is not helping us. This is not helping the police department. Use your words, use your experiences to get him into change. Do not use physical violence. 